Well, it's no longer a member of the Dow, so aluminum giant Alcoa can only unofficially kick off the new earnings season, and it did so after the bell today, but not before making big news about settling civil and criminal bribery charges. More on that in just a moment. Uh, meantime, for the just completed quarter, Alcoa reported a net loss of more than $2 billion because of depressed aluminum prices and after writing down the value of some smelting operations. Alcoa pulled in four cents a share. That, however, two cents shy of estimates, even though revenues did beat Wall Street forecasts. Shares initially lower, as you see there in late trading. Morgan Brennan now with more on Alcoa's fine and the company's new strategy in a changing industry. Alcoa making headlines today, and not just because the aluminum giant reported its quarterly earnings. The company settling with the SEC and the DOJ after a subsidiary was charged with bribing officials in Bahrain, the resulting $384 million deal becoming the fourth largest settlement under the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. Uh, we have been able to negotiate it in such a way that it puts less of a financial stress on the company. It's getting paid over four years. So that's good, and we can put this behind us. Significant, certainly, but it may be overshadowing an even bigger story for Alcoa and for the aluminum industry as a whole, business diversification. Experts say Alcoa has been on the forefront of this trend. It's simply no longer appropriate to, to think of Alcoa as simply an aluminum pure play. The price of aluminum has tumbled down about 37 percent from its 2011 peak, and it's taken shares of aluminum producers down with it. But companies like Alcoa, Rio Tinto and Rusal have been expanding into operations less vulnerable to those lower prices, cutting down smelting operations and focusing on aluminum product manufacturing. Companies that used to be pure aluminum plays now build things like truck wheels, industrial gas turbines and auto body panels. They've even been looking beyond aluminum into nickel and titanium products for use in aircraft. That shift has helped the bottom line, with Alcoa beating analysts' recent earnings expectations because of those new revenue streams. In fact, the company's diversification accounted for 57 percent of total revenues and 79 percent of after-tax operating income through the first three quarters of 2013. And analysts expect other aluminum players will follow Alcoa's lead. Given the success they've had diversifying, I think they're providing a blueprint uh, that, that some of their peers are going to follow. So I, I wouldn't expect, uh, I, I would expect a lot of their peers to follow suit and, and make efforts to diversify as well. That diversification, as well as the fact that some producers have been closing down or selling off aluminum-related assets, is powering what some experts believe will be a massive industry consolidation. And with an economy that's continuing to improve, analysts think the new trend could lead to even more competition in the aluminum space. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.